We're talking about people who were who had previous lives before being born again, before coming to the faith, mm -hmm. uh, and now they're doing these films. But before that, they were sort of doomed men at times. A drug trafficker, Ja Rule, was in prison. He found faith while he was in prison. Yeah. Does it feel like you're sort of surrounded by people a lot of times who have come to the faith after um, a life of transgression? Uh, well, in the last 10 years, because I was pretty vocal, you know, I kind of was out there and, you know. Yeah, you went for it. Yeah, I, I, I was <laughs> a little bit of a rocket ship there in my zealotness -ness -ness. <laughs> Do you regret that at all? No, I don't regret it, um, but I think in the maturity of any experience, you kind of learn what to do and what not to do, and what's smart and what isn't smart, and what's going to work and what isn't going to work. Um, well, I mean, I just want to hold on, hold on this for a second. What was smart and what wasn't smart, looking back? I would say, in retrospect, uh, what my heart is, is to use my life as an opportunity and a platform to express uh, an experience and a journey and a path that I believe is true and authentic. Mm -hmm. And if you mix that with certain political stuff and da, da 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 you know, there was just, you know, my brother makes a great statement. He says, you know, uh, you know, people, because obviously polar opposite there. So yeah, um, of course. Yeah. Oh, we were going to get to that at some point. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, and as you can see, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not afraid to talk about of certain course. things. But um, uh, Alec will be asked a question, you know, like, hey man, like. What's wrong with your brother? You know, and uh, and I get from my constituency, you know, right. what are we going to do about that brother of yours? Um, <laughs> and I say, well, one a bit more threatening it, sounding than the other. Well, to be no, and, and, well, well, tell me about it. Um, but I love to say to the Christians that say that, you know, like, well, you're praying for him, right? And they go, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. And I'm like, because well, that's what you're supposed to do, you know. Right. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Alec makes the joke, you know, like, uh, I really don't know what happened to Stephen, but uh, I think he was, you know, taken hostage by the conservative Republican <laughs> movement, which uh, wasn't so far from wrong in the beginning. But, really? um, well, and I say it, I shouldn't say that, because now you guys are going to make the headlines. Stephen yeah. admits being abducted by the aliens on a UFO of the Republican. Yes, we are. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Great. Appreciate no, that. But I, I mean, I, I'm interested, because one of the questions that I had for you was because after, when you became an evangelical, you also seemed to go on Fox News and become a, a voice for, for the right. And I'm wondering why so often in our country, it seems that religion, specifically the evangelical mm -hmm. sect of religion, is so inextricably linked with the far-right values of, of, of the politicians in, in our country. Uh, and why it was for you so quickly. Well, I think that when it comes to conservatism and family values, mm -hmm. those things lean towards the Christian movement in America, which is changing rapidly. Yeah. Uh, and even my brother Billy, who is a Christian, uh, and Alex a Christian, um, but they just have their democratic point of view and et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, but that's why I I'm here to announce officially <laughs> here at HuffPost that I am no longer a political freak daddy. Oh, wow. I am hanging up my political shoes. Uh, really? Well, kind of, sort of, because mm -hmm. it just, it, it's just so crazy to me now because I don't really think politics in America really is about really authentically wanting to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's about who thinks they're smarter than who and you know who's pridefully right and who's wrong and, and, and just I'm exhausted and bored with the whole thing. So I'm just gonna be my little Stevie B slash wannabe Billy Graham guy. And, so, uh, but when you're, but Billy Graham was extremely political as well. And no, so, no. No? No, he was friends and proselytized presidents, right. but he didn't have a political agenda. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult for you when you're around your constituents, when you're working within the evangelical faith, to say that you're not going to be political, that you're not going to have a political agenda? Because to me, it seems that, that evangelicals very much have uh, political ideologies that they want to follow. Sure. I, I, there are Christians who believe that through laws and lobbying and politics that they can allow their faith to move in a certain direction. That's great. I'm just somebody who I'm more focused now and seasoned in the ministry aspect of my existence to realize that if I want to reach the world with 
the message of my own experience, then I've just learned that for the most part, for the most part, take that off the table. Look, if something freaky were to happen politically, I would have an opinion. Sure. It just, it just means now that I'm not really fired up about having to be so excited about it.